This is Kenneth Turan of the Los Angeles Times, and this is my DVD pick of the week. This week, I'm delighted to report that Kino Lorber, a great DVD distributor, a great issuer of reissues, has brought back to life two films by a really underappreciated Hollywood director, one of the top names of the 1930s, whose films have been kind of forgotten, much more neglected than they should be. The director's name is Mitchell Leeson, and the two films in question are Easy Living and Death Takes a Holiday. Easy Living, which has a screenplay by Preston Sturges, who went on to direct himself quite famously. This is a story of a poor shop girl played by Jean Arthur, who gets mistaken through a very curious turn of events for the mistress of a very wealthy man. And everyone in her world treats her differently because they suspect, erroneously, that she is a rich man's mistress. Ray Milan plays her boyfriend, who's as confused as everyone else. It's a really charming film. Well, now that you've got it, what are you going to do with it? Eat it? I'll show you what I'll do with it! What's the big idea, anyway? Kismet. Watch your step, please. Um, could you lend me 10 cents? Lend you? Of course I can. It's payday, and I forgot when I got off that it was my last dime, and I... Well, of course, if you're short... Well, of course I'm not short. Don't be silly. You mean to take a bus? Oh, well, what's the matter with this bus? Oh, no. Oh, it's... hop in, hop in. Uh, this isn't mink, is it? Huh? Of course it isn't. That's Levinsky. You mean Kolinsky? Why, you, you shouldn't be giving away a real Kalinsky. I'll tell you, we'll, we'll look at it another way now. A farmer borrows a hundred cows, you understand? He borrows a hundred cows. Now, how much did the farmer pay? Twelve cows. Well, don't you like this one either? I do now. Looks like a salt shaker. <clears throat> well, we think it's very recherche. What's the trouble with it? What's this? Ah! <clears throat> we, uh, we prefer to handle these ourselves. Uh, 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 yourself! <laughs> Brute. <clears throat> uh, try this. Oh, fur. <laughs> Why, that's genuine sable. Let's try it with a coat. Now oh, you're talking. Oh. <laughs> oh, I haven't any money with me, but uh, well, uh, here's my card. I, and uh, send me the bill. Yes. Uh, Come on. Uh, oh, uh, will you uh, put my old hat in a bag, please? A uh, bag? Yeah. Why, my dear, we'll send it to you in a Rolls Royce. Uh, uh, the address? Mary Smith, uh, 725 West 112th Street. Uh, Come on, I've got to get to work. A bag. Uh, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Get that coat. Huh? Uh, my dear, you don't realize that was the bull of Broad Street. The what? The bull. The bull. Oh, the bull. The other film, Death Takes a Holiday, stars Frederick March as Death. He, the personification of Death, he really exists. And you know, even Death has busy weeks. Death gets tired. Death decides to take a holiday. Death decides to become a human being and see what it's like in the world of the people he ordinarily is employed simply killing. So this is a really unusual film. Frederick March does a wonderful job as death. It's kind of a fascinating, playful, unusual film. The kind of things they did all the time in the 30s, they don't do as much today, which is another reason why it's such a pleasure to have them back 
as a Kino Lorber release. Grazie wanted a cloak. Oh, no. Not now. Why? Why not? Prince Sergei has brought her a cloak. Prince Sergei. Father, she's hypnotized, fascinated. We must save her from him. No, we can do nothing. What do you mean? If we could, should I be standing here now? No, no. What is it? Oh, nothing, nothing. Oh, Grazia's gone out into the garden with Prince Sergei. Prince Sergei? Why not? What's wrong? Oh, Grazia's in no danger. What's happened, no, there's, danger. there's nothing to be alarmed about. But you're alarmed, Father. You're terrified. There is some danger. Oh, let me go to No, him. no, wait, wait. Then I'll go. No, I forbid you. You're risking your life. My life? What's my life or yours? You said you'd die for Grazia. I would if it would save her. Father, tell me who this prince is. I'll know or I'll kill him. Kill him? Why, if he would put out his hand, it would mean your life. I don't care. I only know that Grazia's in danger. No, no, wait, wait, wait. He's not Prince Turkey. No, 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 don't tell. Don't tell. He is the one whom all men dread. He is death. What do you mean? His Majesty, death. Amusing himself on a holiday. No, amusing no, himself with love. Now you take one step to save her, and she's lost. If you won't think of yourselves, think of her. <laughs> 